Hey guys, welcome back, and thanks for watching. My curiosity has gotten the better of me here. Uh, when I bought this engine, I just assumed it was a regular Ford uh, 8BA style engine with the AB heads. And when I was playing with it, trying to get it to start here a couple weeks ago, I figured out that these, and you can't see it, on the back of these water pumps is a mercury part number. So, that kind of aroused my curiosity. Is it just a plain Ford flathead or is it a mercury flathead? And in case you didn't know, the Fords had a three and three quarter stroke and the Mercury's had a four inch stroke. Uh, back then in the 50s, late 40s, 50s, the Mercury's always made more power than what the Fords did. And it really doesn't matter one way or another. It's still gonna, it's still going in the car. Uh, it's just one of those curiosity things. I just need to know. <laughs> you know, I need to know what's in there. So I'm gonna pull this cylinder head today and measure the stroke. Uh, there's no way to measure it down through the, or you can't really do it accurately down through the spark plug holes just because of the location of the spark plug. You know, your cylinder is down here, and your plugs are or your excuse me your your uh valves are up here so you can't even really see in the cylinder with spark plug removed so not that it takes a lot to remove this head uh 11 16 socket and 24 bolts later it's off of there so we're gonna get this head pulled and see what we got first thing we got to do is get our timing tab out of here and it's just a half inch They're usually not too tight, so. And this is just on the 8BA style flatheads on the uh, 59A and earlier style flatheads. The distributor was on the front of the engine instead of this uh, diagonal configuration here. So, yeah, I might need both hands to get that out of there. Okay. Yep, I'll get that out of there and then we'll I'll bring you back. When Ford went to this style of distributor, when they went from the crab style distributor in the front to this slanted style distributor, uh, they called it the Lodomatic. And if you notice something odd about these distributors, or I guess just an interesting quirk of these distributors, is that there's no mechanical advance to them. They're all vacuum advance. They, that's all they rely on for your uh, advances. Nothing but vacuum. If you notice how, you know, there's no real body to the distributor there. It's kind of an interesting setup, and it works for a, a, a stock engine, but when you start modifying them and basically any form at all then uh they're pretty useless <laughs> so uh most people go to a mallory though well, for years everybody went to the mallory breakerless and uh it's still available and it's still a good distributor so it's probably what i'll end up putting in this one but for now the the factory ford distributor is just fine and now we just Take our impact, start zipping these out. 24 bolts. And there's no water in this block, so we don't have to worry about any anything spilling out or anything, so. won't be the first time I've had a, a mercury four inch stroke crank if that's what turns out to be when I had my 53 Ford pickup I, I lucked into an engine uh, that just happened to have a 
Mercury 4 inch stroke crank in it. So, well, like I said, either way, it really doesn't matter. E either way, I got one down there I can't get to. I've got to take that off first to get there, uh, that water neck bolt. So, we'll see when we get in here. I'll bring you back then. Okay. Well, we got all our bolts out, and uh, I think we got everything just about ready here. <clears throat> and I was going to pull that distributor cap out of the way. Let me pull that distributor cap out of the way, and then we'll pull the head off and see what we got. And there we have it. We got our cylinder head off. Everything looks really, really good in here. Went ahead and pulled the uh, head gasket off just to have a quick look at it. Water jackets look excellent. No visible cracks anywhere. Pistons look good. Valves all look really, really good. It doesn't really surprise me looking at this engine that it ran as well as it did. Everything looks real good. So, I've got number four back here all the way down. And... This is an incredibly rough measurement, but it's good enough just to give us an idea of what's there. I don't know if you can really see that or not, but it's three and three quarter. So we have a Ford, uh, which doesn't surprise me. Like I said, one way or another, it really didn't matter. It would have been nice if it was a four inch mercury crank, but it is not. And really, that's about the only way without taking the pan off can you determine whether your flathead is a Ford or a Mercury? Uh, like I said, one way or another, it doesn't really matter. The little engine runs so good that it's going in the car regardless. So, happy to know what it is. And, uh, appreciate everybody watching. I just wanted to make a quick video just to give you a rough idea of what I had going on here. So, like I said in the previous videos, here in the next you know, a few months or so, we'll work on getting this engine ready and get it put in the car, and and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So, thanks for watching. I always appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate everybody who watches my videos, and have a great day.